pro athletes always looking for the latest and the greatest technology, something that's going to give them just that little something extra, that edge. Talk about an edge. In this case, it is the coldest that seems to be the hottest. Fox Source James Rose joins us with that. Hey, guys. Cryogenics is a study of how matter behaves at very low temperatures. After experiencing cryogenic therapy myself this afternoon, I found it, well, to be cold, very cold. 48 degree night, and C.J. Wilson is a guy who goes through cryogenic therapy, where he is in a cryogenic tank. And the other day went down to minus 295 degrees. Cryotherapy is similar to an ice bath, but it's a much faster way to get the same effect as sitting in icy water for 25 minutes. I figured I'd give it a shot. I'm kind of an experimental guy. Wilson and a few other rangers came to this facility in Dallas and spent two and a half minutes in this tank with the temperature nearly 300 degrees below freezing. Uh, it helps you recover. Um, basically, you stand in this, you know, this freezing can and cold air circulates around you. Wilson and others see it as an edge. I'll do whatever because the one percent at this level is really the it really is valuable. You know the first treatment didn't really feel much they felt better coming out but after a series of treatments uh, it started to affect performance and they definitely saw an improvement in their performance and how they felt. At seventy-five dollars per session Eric Rosher says anyone can benefit. We're just a tool for those guys in the toolbox so they can recover faster in, in sports whether you're a professional athlete or you're doing uh, marathons or triathlons or playing tennis or golf weekend warrior. Speaking Speaking of Warriors, we caught UFC welterweight Johnny Hendricks chilling out. It was his first time. It's not that bad, you know what I mean? Like, it's only three minutes, and three minutes to make my body feel good, I'll do anything for three minutes. We have known for years intuitively about the uh, therapeutic advantage of ICE. Dr. Tio Soriol is the head team physician for the Dallas Mavericks. I'm not going to say anything about the benefits of cryotherapy for injuries or injury prevention because in all honesty we just don't know. But for recovery, well, we've known about it for years. Soriel says more research is needed but some of his players don't need any convincing. I've heard from some of our older athletes uh, that we may not have won a championship like this if we didn't have this sort of thing available to us. With time, we're going to have enough studies. Now, the good news is there's no downside.